Subway riders in L.A. could soon be walking through weapon-detecting body scanners. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in downtown L.A. where Metro tested that new security system. Greg. And, Pat, they tested it today. They'll test it tomorrow and again next week. But Metro doesn't know if they're going to make it permanent in the future. This high-tech scanner was being tested today at the Red Line entrance at Union Station. It's along the lines of what we pass through at the TSA checkpoints at the airport. I think it's a good idea. Soon, you might have to pass through one of these to get to your train or subway. That's smart. Yep. This is the Evolve Edge, which scans for explosives and high-capacity guns. Metro will test out another company's scanner next week as Metro considers ways to improve security system-wide. Last month, they tripled their security force. Yeah, I definitely noticed some. Me and my friends, we noticed some, like more police. They gave Natasha Cotaloella peace of mind just this morning on her train. I've been so uneasy because of one passenger, but the fact that the cops were going by back and forth, literally like I felt 10 times better. Passengers could go through the scanner voluntarily today. If Metro puts these in place in the future, screening will be mandatory. Passengers told us it's fine with them. I believe so, mm -hmm. for our safety, mm -hmm. for everybody's safety. If nothing suspicious is found, there's a green light. But when an employee goes through with metal in his backpack, a red light. And the agent can see pictures showing where the suspicious item is. An employee wearing a vest with simulated plastic explosives gets the red light as well. And agents can see right where they need to check. And Metro wants to see how it performs during rush hour. They believe they can get 600 passengers through in an hour. But during rush hour in the morning and at night, they say they have a lot more than 600 passengers. Pat, Rick, back to you.